This was an incident that was very unfortunate in the history of our country. This was an incident that happened, did not start in Lagos. This was an incident that Lagos became a collateral damage because it was not an incident that was meant for Lagos. This was an incident that I led from the front. You know, in all of the three weeks while that incident was going on, I led everything from the front. I did the very first, first, first in terms of leadership and administration to bring about a peaceful, you know, end of that unfortunate incident. I identify with all of all of them. I, I led to understand and to appreciate what their yearnings, what their requests were. Um, and um, at the end of the day, uh, what happened um, in October 20th happened, right? I, I did not create, you know, the events or, you know, or the military engagement there. Um, for people that understand and know what the constitutional rules are, it was not in the remit, in any form hmm. of a sitting. There have been several, you know, um, um, speeches, there have been several events that have pointed to the fact that a governor do not even have such powers or such remit at all. And um, Sherry, if you can remember that even, you know, um, a, a chief superintendent of police did not even listen to my own little instruction when I went to Bagodo, you know, the other day, hmm. not to now talk of, you know, a full military detachment, you know, um, on this. And so the question around, you know, which I, I find it very strange when people that are meant to be coming to, I mean, um, um, become governor, of Lagos State are using words that are dividing us against, as against you know, um, things that should be, you know, uniting us, you know, and, and when you say who order, who gave the shooting and all of that, you know, um, and, 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 and unfortunately, you know, I mean, my, we need to do a role play. Hmm. You know, a lot of my youths, you know, um, um, kids, children, um, my brothers and sisters of that age, we need to be able to snap out of it and let's, you know, build back better and understand that the lessons and the learning of that incident has made us a better, more resilient citizens, right? And I mentioned to that everybody that has come out, you know, in any form to say that, you know, um, there has been injured or injury, mm. right? I have paid them, you know, um, they've been compensation that have been given to all of the injured people that have come up. Not one person, Sheriff, have you mm. seen on the street carrying a placard to say that, they have not been compensated, they have not been paid. And we've done all of that, right? And the lessons and the learning is not lost on us. But to begin to use things that divide us as a political you know, agenda means that we want to be retrogressive, we want to be progressive and move on and understand and appreciate that we should not let events like that determine who we are and what we stand for. We're building the city back, you know, we're learning and we're responding you know, to a lot of the yearnings and the agitations, you know, that might, you know, come from my young people. So I want to, you know, reassure them that I'm a governor for them. I'm being their friend and their brother. You know, I've been the one that has listened to them the most. I've been the one that has carried them along the most. I've been the one that has given them an opportunity in tech business, given them opportunity in the creative industry, in the music industry, in the sports industry. And that is what we're talking about. That is the competitiveness you know, the comparative edge, you know, that we're talking about that one has been able to create. All of the jobs were created on infrastructure, right? It's all about that. It's all about the youth. It's all about giving them the opportunity. There are several of my young people that are working, living in Lagos, but their principal, their, their, their offices are in Canada and, and the U.S. And it's based on the level of infrastructure, technological infrastructure that will be developed in Lagos. We've given the backbone for tech startups to come to Lagos, for hyperscale, you know, data center to be set up in Lagos. It's all because of the environment which they found themselves. That's why you and I can sit in our various offices and have this conversation now, Sherry. And that's the kind of power that we've developed in this, in the, in the, in this system. You know, so it's not about what has divided us. It's not about what has happened three years ago. It's about what are the opportunities that we've created for ourselves going forward. It's about showing empathy, showing compassion, giving opportunity to the citizen, ensuring that we can build this economy bigger, better, and quicker. And that's what, you know, I, I believe that we, we should be, you know, advancing, you know, going forward. It was a Lagos State public service staff bus that was moving from uh, people from the Solo area, and they were taking them to Alausa. Um, so largely, you know, apart from their few, two, three dependents, they are all 
public servants, you know, in different agencies, ministries, you know, so including the driver, right? Mm -hmm. um, they are uh, public officers. And it's a route that they would, they've been passing virtually every time. You know, as into the reasons that led to it, we could say it was purely a human error. Mm -hmm. It was a misjudgment of a driver who did not listen or err on the side of caution when the signaling and um, the physical um, um, signalization guys were on ground mm. and have advised you know vehicles to stop i was told that he actually swerved out of line mm. and he felt he could beat the 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 uh, the oncoming train you know so it was a completely wrong human judgment error you know and these kind of things that you don't even create to happen when you're in an aircraft mm. you know very unfortunate and and i dare say that uh, the driver He's also, um, um, I think he's in hospital now. Initially, he didn't feel anything, but he's also in hospital. But so how do we prevent and guard you know, against such things? Um, from the experts, what they've said is there are about three levels, you know, at ensuring grid level crossing. You know, how real infrastructure are built in the world all over. About three levels of, of, of control. One is a physical barrier. When I, when I mean physical barrier is um, maybe you have an overpass, you know, so you have an infrastructure <clears throat> barrier where you have a bridge, and there'll be train, you know, moving under. That's that's a, that's the most desired. That's as a fiscal barrier. Then you have other ones which will have like a gate, you know, mm -hmm. a gated barrier where when a train is coming, you you actually get the thing. Then the third one you have signalization. We could be traffic light, traffic mm -hmm. signal, you know, which will show a stop, you know. And I think there is a there is a hybrid, which is where you have a fiscal person, a human being who flags down with with flags and all of that. Right, and, and and they will be able to control um, vehicular movement. I think is a really is the last one that we'll have at that station. And and NRC, you know, who, which is Nigerian Railway Corporation, are the owners of the of, of the of the of the rail, you know, and, and they are the owners of of, of uh, so so they are the ones that are running the place right now. Um, interestingly, that is the corridor for our own future red line as well. Mm. So we do not want to abstain ourselves from the future usage of that rail track. We're working on the red line, and the red line is from Ibutemeta all the way to Agbado. So it will fly on, on that rail corridor as well, mm. and that will have a quicker headroom. So one of the lessons that we've, we've taken away is that we will need to you know, um, wrap up our infrastructure, as in the real fiscal infrastructure, to avoid any vehicular or human contact mm. with rail. Mm. And Sherry, that's why a lot of people don't know uh, we're building concurrently five overhead bridges mm. that our rail infrastructure will pass. And I'll quickly go over there. Yeah. There's one we have at Ibutemeta. We're building a bridge, a full vehicular bridge at Ibutemeta. It's about 80%, 85% completed. We're building one at Yaba. Yaba is about 95% completed, you know, bridge vehicular bridge so that there is no contact at all mm. number two number mm. three we're mm. building one at machine you know machine to um to unipan we're building one that's the third one we're building one at ikeja alone which is a massive big you know bridge infrastructure that you see by um, ikeja local government that that's what we call ikeja alone and the last one we're building at ayola coca which is at iju federal government is meant to build one for us you know um Around there. And I think there's one that has already passed Penn Cinema, okay. which we've already built already. You know, um, um, so, so this infrastructure are part of the things that are meant to help the rail movement. When the rails are, when the trains are moving, you know, there is no interface at all because vehicles are on overpasses and, and, and the rails are there. So right. that's, that's, a, that's a long term solution, which will, which will, but before that is to ensure that we could either have signalization, which will be traffic signalization. Or ensure that we have gate signalizations, which will be to have fiscal barrier. And so we're working with we're working with um, um, the NRC, mm. you know, to see how we wrap up that. And we're meant to also wall off that entire corridor at some mm. point when when the, when when the infrastructure and the and the and the and the, um, and the real movement starts, you know, mm. uh, because ours will have a quicker headroom. Mm. We're meant to be seeing a train every ten or fifteen minutes. You know, and, and that's right. that's the plan for our mass urban mass transportation system mm. that we promised um, Lagos 